Okay, so looking at the lineups we have now on the screen for the Phantoms, it's a very strong lineup. James White is out there uh, making guest appearance. We've got 97 Nathan Long at the end. Other than that, it's pretty much business as usual for the Phantoms. Looking at the Wildcats lineup, they've only got a couple of people they're missing. Um, Sam Zajac, he's recently left, gone to sign up North Coast. Smith will be a bit of a loss. Uh, Sam Godfrey, nice welcome back. Tom's right kiss after quite a nasty incident earlier on. Uh, that saw him out for quite some time. That's now been sorted, everyone back and on the ice. But both Weldon and Robert Ferrara are back comfortably to pick it up. Padalek collects high hit, but a very good hit from Sam Godfrey on Alex Padalek. <coughs> Clear cross check from behind on James Ferrara, but nothing called. Into the centre, Mar doing excellently to hold on to that one. It goes out and it's Owen Griffiths gets it, plays it around the boards. It drops out the zone to Joe Hazeldine. Hazeldine to Maxim Beerbrayer. Beerbrayer looks to move in, crosses it. And it's a goal from Aaron Nell. <coughs> so we'll just have a quick look at that again. Some great work by Max Beerbrayer to set Aaron Nell up. So on the replay, we see Hazeldine holds on to the puck, plays it across to Beerbrayer, who's unmarked on the far side. Beerbrayer now goes around Phantom Steam Man. He's got Aaron Nell ghosting in completely unmarked, just cross, and Nell has an empty net to shoot in on. Joe, we were saying defence being key. Defence leaving the door unlocked. Just a quick transition in the neutral zone. Now playing for the Swindon Wildcats. Beberis playing a very strong game. Not strong enough. Robbie Fryer comes out with the puck to Pliskowskis. Pliskowskis one on three. Whitfield goes around and swings the puck. And going for the wraparound, it goes across the net. But Rennie Marr, that's netminding 101. If in doubt, sprawl. Just cover the net, any, cover the puck any way you can. Just a little bit. You can't really admit when you are. So Nell goes into the corner. Goes central. There's a scramble in front of the net. And now celebrates, it's pushed through the legs of Ewan King. I believe the goal is going to be given. <laughs> Protest from the Phantoms, but they will be for naught. Wildcats pick up a power play goal. So we can see here, Aaron Nell pucks loose in front. He just shovels it under the leg pads of Ewan King. So we see here again, it's in the corner. Phantoms look to clear it. Nell completely unmarked, just skates in front of the net. Robbie Farrar goes with him, but not enough. It bounces off the pads and then Nell just gets in front of it, shovels it under the leg pads of Ewan King and the Phantoms are now thoroughly under the cosh. It's really, really um, capitalised on the errors. Phantoms with a shot and a great response there. Almost identical to the Wildcats second goal. We'll see this again. The, we'll see this again on the replay. So Edward Nags here picks up the puck, it goes loose. Quickly gets the stick in. Ma doesn't quite react. He gets the first shot, doesn't hold on to the rebound. And Nags just knocks it back nonchalantly as it slides under the pads of Rennie Ma. As much as King would want that, the second goal back, I think Ma's going to want this one back. So a defensive error as one of the Wildcats players drops down. Now it's Aaron Nell in the scrum. Got Bullis with him, very strong physical player, but the Phantoms come loose. James Ferrara has got Pliskowskis on the far side, shot, goes loose. Pliskowskis with a shot, but Rennie Ma. Salem goes for the shot, gets caught in the stick. Oh, sorry, on the skate, Jan Kostel. Goes round, close attempt. Close attempt now. James Ferrara looking for the option, he's got it in. It bounces over the net, somehow goes in. We'll see that on the replay. But the Phantoms tie the game. So, puck bubbles around in front, it's held by James Ferrara, drops back to Salem, it then goes high, bounces on the net, it's then knocked, I don't, let's see if we can work out who by it seems to come off the crossbar and then drop in the net. So, Salem goes high, then Billing goes around the back of the net, 
uses the blade of his stick, holding it down. He knocks it off the top of the net and it seems to dribble down the back of the goal. Wildcats are contesting it. And it looks like the goal's being given. Steve Whitfield complaining to linesman Nathan Carmichael. The Wildcats not happy. Sam he's got James Farrar with him. He's got Scott Robson. And he's got Robbie Farrar. Back to Farrar. Farrar across it to brother James. James shoots and it's a goal! Fantastic move. Robbie Farrar takes a puck out to the, out to the blue line, along the blue line to brother James. Captain James Farrar with the shot. It sounded like Ma had a pad to it, and in it goes. So we see it comes around the back. Padalek, I believe, with the pass to Rob Ferrara. Ferrara holds it straight across. James Ferrara holds on to it, takes his spot, picks his point, shoots, and it goes block aside low. Off. Not convinced that was the right call, but uh, here we go. So Wildcats in front of the net with the puck, backhander from Bullis. It goes round. Great defensive work from James White. To keep... Phantoms look to break out. Little one, two. Owen Griffiths going. He's got Laskowskis in the middle. Back across. Great save from Rennie Marn. Now the Wildcats look to break out. Bit Breyer on the outside. Nell in the middle. Scuffs it. It goes loose in front, but Phantoms just throwing body after body at it. I got out. I'll agree with you hands down on that one. I'd also put. Um, Oh, even-handed goal, the puck bounced loose, just tapped, goes over the top of Ewan King's leg pad. So here we go, it's Tom's Rutkiss, plays it in, just speculative on goal. It bounces off the skate of Lee Jameson, and it's Chris Jones who's there, he's got his stick. It just bounces right for him, and it goes over the leg pad of Ewan King. Wildcats equalise, we can see there it bounces back off Jameson's stick. It's scuffed as Robbie Ferrara attempts to keep it out. Nell goes for the change, Beer Breyer's on. And now Salem looks to charge through, he goes through. Bullis holds the puck, it's a good shot. I think we can almost hear the chance from here. So, score of Wildcats, third goal this evening. Chris Jones is going to be taking the penalty. Ewan King's on his line, the whistle goes. Jones looping in, looking to fake out. King shoots and scores. Goes low and the goal's in. Joe, is that just the pressure paying off now? Uh, I think Ewan just lost his foot in on the way back. I think if we see it on the replay, Jones comes in. As you said, he goes out wide. Steps back in the middle, keeps his feet moving the whole time. As Ewan comes back, he just takes a stumble. Goes to Butterfly and as he goes to push off, just can't save them all. Indeed, so here we go. Nathan Salem on Rennie Ma. Salem again going out wide, comes in. And he scores! He goes block aside low, over the pad of Ma. And it's one apiece. So here we go, we see him skating, fakes him out, and just lifts it over. One goal apiece. And now it's going to be Maxim Beerbrayer on Ewan King. It's been the story of the night, Dan, isn't it? One goal apiece. A lot of experience, Max Beerbrow, ex-elite league, uh, Cardiff Devils, obviously been in Telford, so we'll see what he can do as he comes down now. Again, he goes wide, looks to fake out King, stops, and he goes low, he looks for the five hole, but King drops and stops, and it stays at one goal apiece. Here we go, Beerbrow stops, fakes him out, but King has his pad down, and it's still one goal apiece. Darius Pliskowski's up next, no stop, no pause there. As soon as the whistle goes, he's straight out, goes wide, looks for the shot. He goes for the shot and a good save by Rennie Marr, we can see on the replay. He goes, he looks to go, catch a side high. Marr just lifts his arm, exactly right, and it remains 1-1. One, one. So Aaron Nell, So player coach Aaron Nell going for the penalty shot. He's going straight down the middle, King's out. Nell goes block aside high. And here we go. No messing about, no waiting. Nell just straight in. Goes block aside. 
and it's Wildcats 2, Phantoms 1. Okay, here we go, Owen Griffiths, sorry, Wildcats 2, Phantoms 1, Griffiths now, a lot of power and speed, stops, fakes, and it's stopped. Rennie Marr makes the save, and the Wildcats win the semi-final on a penalty shootout. Final score, Wildcats 7, Phantoms 6. Absolute elation from the Wildcats. Their record against the Phantoms in semi-finals has not been good. In fact, it's the first time in three years they've won a semi-final here. And their elation is absolutely understandable. Phantoms, absolutely heartbroken. Their Autumn Cup run comes to an end.